Hi, I'm Sean McManus from Telecom TV, and I am here at MWC. I'm talking today to Paco Martin Pignatelli, who is head of Open RAN at Vodafone, and Paul Miller, CTO at Wind River. Tell me, how do you feel about the industry adoption of Open RAN so far, Paul? Well, we're coming through a few years of really early work in Open RAN and coming out of the exit of Virtual RAN, and at least our industry has seen slower than expected adoption. Uh, we've seen, though, in 2024, heading into 2025, that that's really taken an uptick. And we think that's a result of now having the technology proven at scale with deployments such as the ones we have at Vodafone that really show that the TCO can achieve or be superior than traditional RAN, as well as have some additional benefits. And now that that's proven out, we're seeing greater adoption of the technology. Paco. Oh, I fully agree with that. Uh, we are seeing the technology works. Uh, we are also uh, proving that the TCO can be. Uh, better than uh, the better than ever better than than traditional radio and uh, it's happening and uh, we are we are very happy after a few years uh, to see this and i think uh, now is the time uh, for everybody to start looking at this not just the big players uh, so i i would like to call tier 2 tier 3 operators to start looking into open run and actually reach out to us in Vodafone. we are happy to collaborate open run is about collaboration so I, I'm sure next uh, 12 months will be about uh, uh, mass scale adoption. Tell me what the partnership between your companies involves and how it's going. Paul. Yeah, thanks. So we've obviously spent many years deeply invested in virtual RAN and now open RAN with the Overran Alliance and software community providing an O-Cloud solution for open RAN, uh, improving that solution through massive deployments globally with multiple tier one service providers, including Vodafone. Uh, that's really brought us to the point where we have an offering now that is really the underpinning of many production deployments globally. And operators such as Vodafone are benefiting from the hardening and feature-rich capabilities as a result of multiple service providers using the technology. And Paco, how do you see the partnership from Vodafone's perspective? You know, understanding and appreciating their uh, previous results with other players in the industry, but I have to say that's been a perfect partnership working all the way from uh, R&D collaboration. We are very heavy on uh, uh, R&D planning and R&D work, and it's great to, to work with the uh, Wind River on that. But then it's also about delivery and then about operations. So now we have all the experience and uh, we, are, we are confirming uh, our support and uh, the willingness to co co continue working with the Wind River in the future. Regarding the validation of the stacks for ORAN and benchmarking the solution, tell me what the learnings are so far, Paul. Well, it's been really interesting looking from our perspective in the overall solution stack, some of the capabilities that we've implemented, like low core count overhead, uh, high performance Linux kernels, advanced networking. These have resulted for us in the component of the CAS layer that's provided in the Open RAN stack in a very highly performance solution. And that has a material impact on TCO for the service provider because of the amount of sectors and RF information they can pull through that node, as well as the number of nodes and the cost to deploy and operate those nodes. So it's interesting that we've seen in the performance and benchmarking aspect, the superiority of a, a high performance solution actually having positive impacts on TCO. And then from your side, Paco, what's the learnings for you? For, for us, benchmarking is a, is the way we deal uh, with the technology introduction. We do very heavy benchmark from the technical perspective at the roadmap level. But then we also go into the lab or the field. This year is, a, is new, uh, our benchmark in the uh, CAS area. We've been testing extensively a uh, high number of vendors, uh, over 500 different test cases, uh, working closely with a company called VoyAR that's helping us on on developing this methodology and uh, we got the f uh, first results and uh, it's great news that uh, we are confirming uh, uh, how good the technology is from Wind River and we are very happy to see it uh, actually with the results, right? Uh, now that the performance and the KPIs are proven, tell us about the role that automation will play in operations. Paul. Well, that's actually a really interesting story. Initially, we started about six years ago with the deployment of virtual RAN. That evolved into open RAN. And much of that time was spent hardening the CAS layer so that you had really a bulletproof platform, cost-efficient, high-performant to run this type of technology. However, as we started deploying at high scale, we found that having a single pane of glass where you could see what's happening in the network through advanced analytics capabilities, as well as orchestration and automation, not only for deploying the applications like we typically do in cloud technology, 
but actually managing the infrastructure and the upgrade and life cycle of that technology and performing operations tasks that the service provider often has to do in order to maintain their network, what we often call in the industry day two operations. So in the past few years, we've made heavy investments in automation. What we've found from working with service providers is Overhand is only truly realizable. The only way you can get to optimal TCO and superiority to traditional RAN is by heavily embracing automation to ensure that your ongoing day-to-day -day operations is low cost. Paco. In the last few years, we have proven that uh, the radio technology in open round works. I think now it's very important that uh, we fulfill the promise of uh, um, lower, lower TCO and uh, automation is essential for this. We need to see in the next few months uh, that uh, all the uh, uh, technology around this area matures. Uh, we need to t take into account that uh, we are moving into a pure software-based type of solution and then uh, uh, automation will be key in order to handle the more complex multi-vendor integrations and, and to deliver on, on TCO. So uh, we are carefully watching this space. Tell us, how are carriers looking at new tech such as Intel Xeon 6, Paul? Well, certainly we've seen some interesting things, right? With the evolution of the processor technology that's used in the cloud infrastructure, these are actually incredibly important for low TCO. Xeon 6 is having an impact of reducing the edge node count by half, right? The ability to integrate multiple 5G spectrum onto the same server platform gives us the ability to have dramatically lower server component costs out at the edge of the network. And obviously at the edge of the network, that's where your highest volume of components are. So it has a, a massive impact on TCO. So as we move from the last generation to Xeon 6, we expect that has a really positive impact on TCO uh, for the industry. The other area that we're seeing an impact is in the great adoption of artificial intelligence. Obviously, AI is all the rage nowadays. It's being used for radio intelligent controller and dynamic beamforming on the, on the RF interface, but also in operations and automation of these systems. And so these higher performance processors enable us to implement AI throughout the network. And Paco, how is Vodafone looking at technologies such as Intel Xeon 6? Yeah, chips are very important in, the, in radio. They drive a good part of the cost of it. And also they, they are very essential when it comes to performance. So for the much more complex scenarios, uh, performance uh, make a difference, right? So having uh, this platform, Xeon uh, 6 is, uh, is coming at the right time. Uh, we as an operator, we want to deploy only one server in the site. We don't want to have more. And the chips up are, are you know, making a, a, an impact on our plan and making it uh, possible to deploy, which is a, which is great. Ultimately, Open Run is about uh, partners, and everybody has to, uh, you know, get the uh, latest technology, run the extra mile, and uh, we are very happy to to count on CN6. Paul, finally, what would be your advice to other carriers who are looking at deploying Open Run? So we've seen some incredible power in the movement to Open RAN, the ability to vertically disaggregate the solution with off-the-shelf hardware, virtualization technology, and applications. That's driven an incredible competitive landscape. This benefits the service provider tremendously in that we always, throughout the entire life of the network, need to remain competitive in pricing and capabilities, or we run the risk in an open environment of being swapped out. So commercially, this puts a tremendous amount of power in the customer, in the service provider's hands. Uh, the downside to that, though, is there's a complexity that gets introduced. You've got multiple vendors here today uh, coming together with a complex solution, and some of that integration that falls on the service providers uh, in order to absorb and deal with that. That complexity has cost and pain associated with it. So I think one of the things you'd look for in adopting this technology is has the uh, vendor community outside of the service provider fully integrated their solution at the hardware and accelerator layer, at the application layer. Um, solving some of these problems as you bring the solution to a service provider enables them to have a lower pain in the experience of adopting Open RAN. So we believe firmly in that, and I'd certainly encourage any service provider looking at adopting Open RAN to choose partners that have really great ecosystem and well-integrated solutions. And Paco, Vodafone obviously has a lot of experience here. Tell us what would be your advice to other operators that are looking to deploy Open RAN? Well, I think right now we know that the performance works. It does it for any scenario. And uh, we also, uh, more certain than ever, than the price can be the right one, the TCO can be the right one. So my, my uh, advice would be uh, don't delay it. You know, start all working in Open RAN now. It takes some time for any organization to change. This is a different way of doing radio. 
So you need to, you need to get into it. And, uh, we, we offered, uh, in Vodafone, uh, the possibility to come to us, to us, uh, and, uh, we will be supporting. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you very much.